here we are the days arrived okay this was honestly one of the most surprising announcements at the game awards was that we were getting a free dlc expansion whatever you want to call it for god of war ragnarok like we had all been talking about an expansion or dlc for ragnarok because in my view it just made sense like they gave atreus all these abilities they clearly set it up for atreus to go off and do some other stuff so i thought we were going to get an atreus dlc that's not what this is this is allegedly according to the devs a like an epilogue for the story of the game that has some story components but it's a roguelike mode that offers you the chance to get back involved with combat and all that stuff I've not seen anything about this. I don't know what it's like. It just launched about 15 minutes ago. So who knows what it's actually like? Uh, well, I know who's going to know. We are because we're actually going to try it. So when we load into the game, there's now an option for Valhalla and you can select it by itself. I don't know if you have to finish the game. Oh, is it going to make us down? Mother. Okay, we might have to do some just chatting for a little bit. <laughs> it had a three gig update and then it still has another download. Okay, well, we'll do this real quick. It's already at 2%. Okay, we're, we're on our way. Okay, it's, it's going very, very quickly. Okay, it's going to be fine. But I don't know if they only unlock this once you've finished the game or if this is something that you can just launch into even if you haven't finished. I'm not sure. I also don't know what the extent of like story spoilers are going to be. So I, I, I don't know how much of a story spoiler warning to give you. Um, it is an epilogue. So spoiler alert, Kratos is alive. Uh, but I think that that was already revealed in the, in the trailer for this at the game awards because Kratos is in the trailer and then they say it's an epilogue. So it doesn't take a genius to put two and two together, but there you go. There you go. Do I have the PS5 Elite controller? Yes. We're going to be playing with the DualSense Edge. Sony sent this to me. And while I appreciate it and I think it's very sturdy and well built, I think it's ridiculous to pay $200 for this. Um, compared to the flexibility of like the Elite Series 2, I just think that it's kind of outrageous to spend that much money on this. Um, it's going to download the PS4 version. So it downloads the PS5 version and then the PS4 version. That's weird. Okay. The following is meant to be experienced after the completion of God of War Ragnarok and will contain spoilers. Do you wish to proceed? I do. I do wish to proceed. So just everybody be prepared. Spoiler warning. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Difficulty option. Show me will. Show me. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Show me will. Show me courage. Sorry, I can't read. Show me resolve. Show me courage. Show me prowess. Show me mastery. So in standard roguelike fashion, the harder you go, the more rewards you get. Interesting. It says Valhalla is a combat-focused adventure that rewards overcoming challenge. You are encouraged to change difficulties during the experience to find an ideal level of enjoyment. Interesting. Um, and also the devs tweeted out, I think yesterday, they said that in the studio, the final boss encounter, like the final thing at the end of this, no one at the development studio, no one at Sony Santa Monica has been able to finish that boss fight on Show Me Mastery, which is freaking hilarious. For one, I have like, I th I just would have assumed that developers ha like would be like, okay, you have to finish every boss fight we have to finish every boss fight before we release the game because we don't want to release something that's unbeatable right like we don't want to do something like that we have to at least beat it ourselves to know it's possible but apparently they haven't even beaten the final boss on that difficulty which is freaking hilarious uh so i guess in chat i want to hear everybody's predictions for how long it takes like an hour a day how long does it take before we see clips of somebody beating that final boss on the hardest difficulty i'm gonna guess mm, because there's probably people that went back and replayed the game in the last five days 
to prepare for this. So they're probably fresh. I'm going to be very rusty. So maybe, you know what? I'm going to say tomorrow morning we'll see clips going around of somebody finishing that boss. I think it's going to take till tomorrow morning, but I don't think it'll take that long. Pistol chip, 15 hours. Okay, that's that's probably pretty close. Yeah. Seven hours, four hours, a couple of hours, definitely by the end of the day. See, my my thing is, like, I've seen people that are very, very good at God of War's combat, and those people have probably gone back and replayed the game and gotten really fresh with it, so they're just going to plow through this. So, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I guess we should just... Recommended starting combat difficulty. Okay, we'll do recommended, and we'll just go there. But... It's an interesting concept. Like a free update. Oh, we have that Last of Us loading screen. And here we are. This is just the trailer. I may be real. When we saw this trailer at the Game Awards, I thought it was going to be Death Stranding 2 because the water looked like Decim Engine. Nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I don't know. The invitation. I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. So it seems like it assigns you a starting set of equipment. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but wouldn't always get me in the dark about this place. I'm not sure if this is the same equipment I had equipped at the end of my run. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. In invitation. Finally bloody made it. Like, this was really not on my bingo card for this year, honestly. It was a free update to God of War. That's like a single player expansion. Not on my bingo card. You lose all your stuff. You start at zero. Back to basics, then. Yep. That's funny. Yeah, you just go straight back to, to nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, standard roguelike stuff. You go back to basics, and every time you run it, you start over. into a dream. Controls, under lessons. No, we're going to crash and burn. Who needs refreshers? The vast expanse. I wonder how varied the levels are going to be. If they're all going to be kind of like this, or if we're going to get some really different stuff. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, okay, I'm good. Kratos can read now? Master. master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Just squeeze really hard. may not appreciate our breaking in. Yeah, dude, for real. Hello? Okay. 
The shield can't open, so I can't parry, I don't think. Yeah, I just won't. Okay. So no parrying. Okay. The sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. Drastically increases the power of general's advance and general's deception skills. Scoring a successful precision throw with the axe has a luck chance to cause a stun blast. Which to do? Forward pressing. R1 to bash for a blunt end of the spear. Um, I mean, it drastically increases the power. I think drastic is probably the one we want to do. View and menu. Okay. So glyph types, weapon glyphs, empower weapons, and perk glyphs provide unique effects. Okay. Status or stats glyphs increase Kratos' attributes for this attempt. Okay. We, it's standard. Okay. Standard stats. Chest symbols. Each chest has a floating symbol indicates the type of reward inside. Symbols, overview, um, stats, weapon, runic, mixed, refill, fleeting echoes, mastery, seal, spirit, seal, divine triumph. Okay. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. I wonder how long this actually is. Does anyone in chat know if they've said how long this actually is? Oh, right, I can't parry. <laughs> That's important to know. Can't parry. Okay, heavy runic attack. Uh, driving down, running into multiple spheres. An array of chaotic cyclones rampages through the battlefield, damaging all enemies in their path. 2-2 two, two, stun, 250 seconds. We're going to go with the more frequent one. I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. 8 to 10 hours is what they said. Okay, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. We warped to a totally different area. Love that. Okay, a little different vibe. This was my, my main concern was just I didn't that's want... the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Part seems peaceful. Should have a look around. I was worried it would all just look very samey, but it looks like we're actually going to get slightly different ones. Aided us, talk sense into you. Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoid enough. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I'm avoiding myself. Value. Well, that I believe. Aww. I'm nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. I don't think so either. Kratos feels unappreciated. Okay, so maybe this door. Do, 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 do. Oh god. I keep trying to dodge with a circle. I don't think I can use a shield strike because I don't have my shield. I thought that was the whole point. I thought that was the whole point, guys. Romance? Oh, dude, if there's a romantic scene, I don't think there would be. We're back outside. <laughs> you just toss the head on the ground. You marched into oh. Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, Malik. No. It was a personal matter. That would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Just point, point at Mimir. Nailed to our door three days ago. Smash X for romance. <laughs> Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. 
Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. No, do we get to Besides, fight with Freya? Can't. That'd be cool. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Relatable. Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Mm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. Oh, he forced it open. <laughs> There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Ah. Right then. Poor Mimir. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think then. Okay. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. Choose a shield. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the ritual of selection. Okay. Okay, Fury, Valor, or Wrath. What do we want? Charge down enemy with current weapon, deal a large amount of damage with additional weapon effects. Killing enemy heals a small amount. Spartan Rage, Burst of Health, Time Arrive being the gate attack, gain additional burst of healing, grant melee attack bonus. Fury. Yeah, this is the classic one. Um Then we'll do we'll do that. And then we choose a shield. Oh, and we have the option of all of them. Okay. Yeah, see Mimir, now I can do shield bashes. Now I can. Let's see, high stun, bloating spectres, increasing power and fully charged. Um, check, break their guard. Guardian shield is the classic. I think we'll try Dauntless. Good. High risk, now, high reward. Let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. Okay. Speak to me! What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them. How you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. Oh, do you think we run into Sindri? Oh, that would be cool. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Okay. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed. Yeah, God of War could expand into more spin-off games. Guna, with me. I I mean I wouldn't be surprised if part of this and they're gonna watch the response. I wouldn't be surprised if part of this response Oh. Are they gonna make Kratos sing? That'd be funny. Leva. Okay. 
without suffering the penalty. So it won't fully strip us of all of our abilities, I guess? Or any improvement? I'm not sure. No, all is well. Okay. Thank you, shield maidens. Interesting. Right, let's try this whole thing again. Okay. Um, yeah, I, but I think one of the things they're going to be doing is they're going to be judging the response to this. And um, if the response is really good, I think they probably entertain the idea of a spinoff game. Because why not? I mean... They already have a hugely successful IP. Why not make something like this that has some narrative elements? Aim for like some live service stuff. Power of chaotic rampage skills. We'll do that. Cue the musical. Dude, I would kill to see a musical God of War game. I'm looking for my son. Time to kill Odin. Oh, switch. There we go. Choppy, choppy. I'm ready for a Freya solo game. I love her story and being a Viking myself. Love the Lauren story. Yeah, I I think um, it's it's tricky because I think for her in terms of her combat that they established in the base game and with Atreus's combat in the base game, it's not really clear that she'd be able to hold her own game. So they'd have to do a lot of work with her. The other problem is just that it's God of War and it's about Kratos, the God of War. And so it's not that easy to just be like, actually, it's gods of war, you know? What better god of war could the realms ask of than General from one Ragnarok? Yeah, good, good point. Silence for a moment. I'm gonna punch stuff. This was actually a really bad time to use this. Uh, I'm realizing now. I regret it. I have regrets. Ooh. Could just expand on the universe similar to how Control and Alan Wake have different names but intertwine the stories. Yeah, I think that that's probably the best way that they could do it. Um, so I agree. I think that that makes sense. And as for whether they do it or not, I mean, I, I think it would be easy money. But um, it's also easier said than done. Like, just ask yourself the basic question, who does it? Like, do they expand Santa Monica Studio and they have Santa Monica do it? Or do they have a separate studio do it? That Like, this was the thing we talked about on stream yesterday. There's all these rumors of, uh, like, Bungie, if they can't hit financial targets, Bungie could uh, be taken over by Sony because part of their agreement when they bought them was that uh, Bungie would remain fully independent as long as they hit their financial goals. But if they miss those financial goals, Sony gets to fire the board of directors and take over the company completely. And one of the possible outcomes of that is that Sony takes over Bungie and then they have Bungie start making multiplayer games and live service games with their other IP. So you could have Bungie working on The Last of Us Factions, Bungie working on a God of War live service game. You could have Bungie working on all this stuff um, whether as the main development studio or as a support studio, just because they weren't able to figure out how to make Destiny successful. So I don't know what the, the future holds for them, but it's certainly interesting that they're playing around with it. And I think that that's the entire point of this, is that they knew if they charged like 10 bucks for this, there would be a lot of people that wouldn't bother with it. Um, like for me, what compels me is the story element of God of War. 
So hearing that it's like, oh, it, it has a, uh, a roguelike mode. It's like, okay, cool. But I don't think I need to play that. I can just watch somebody else play it or watch a story recap and I'll be fine. But considering it's a free update, why not try it, you know? So I think that they're offering it for free. And then, um, Glyph's Persuasive will also say, okay. And it can, they can be upgraded and then retain your progress and will highlight next to the main menu. Okay. So at these things is where you would suspend and save to go back to the main menu. Um, so I think they're offering it for free because they want as many people to try this as possible. And then they'll gauge response. And if the response is really, really positive, they probably walk out and try to do an entire uh, dedicated spinoff game. Because why wouldn't they, you know? I think it only makes sense. Uh, a. Newman, thank you also for subbing with, uh, subbing with Prime. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. A new kill zone, they could do that. Yeah, well, there's rumors that they might that they might uh, be doing just that, that they might be, uh, or specifically Gorilla Games might be working on another one. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? Two of my favorite things, God of War and Roguelike. Can't wait to try this later. Yeah, I mean, so far, they've. it seems like they've really put a lot of thought into it. There's a lot here. Um, so fleeting echoes are the currency you get for killing all those things. So it can give you certain blessings. Immediately restores a moderate amount. So I can spend that to get a little boost if my health is really low. It's currently full, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to get a blessing of strength instead. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of braced for this to just be kind of a quick afterthought. Like there's waves of enemies and it lasts maybe a couple hours and then you're good but it seems like they've actually put a lot of thought into this which is refreshing a free update with thought put into it what is this and I, yeah i don't know how to do that yet it's gonna take like some sort of key we haven't unlocked same with that one Okay. Well, maybe you go back through all of these once you get the keys you need to open it. Got you. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be a lot of unique enemies. I'm mainly interested in like the big boss fights. Fortune strike melee attacks have a luck chance for a critical, creating a, an explosion. Hitting stunned enemies unleashes shockwaves and has a strength to grant or a chance to grant a stack of increasing strength and stun damage. Ooh. I mean, I think just broadly melee attacks having a chance for criticals probably will end up doing more over the course of an entire run than just only on stunned enemies. So I think we're going to do that. That's at least what makes sense in my noggin. And this must be how you remember Sparkle Fight. Grail knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace. Regardless it is interesting. They are just like little warped versions of areas we've been to. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them. And I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man. But you've put your past behind you. You'll see it. That you were. You told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. <laughs> but you've proven over yes. and over again that you're not that man anymore. Yes, you were a piece of crap, but we love you anyways. Imagine if it has a companion chest that spawns Atreus or Freya. Oh, like a ghostly version of them. That could be cool.
Don't mind me. Booyakasha. We're making progress. Okay. This would also be great if you're just looking to like train yourself on uh, the combat before trying like a hard mode run. Right, give me God of War run. Be really good for it. Okay, we're doing pretty good. What's this? Oh, that's right, okay. Could have used that. Oops. What we got? Master Seal. All right. Anything else up here we should look at or grab? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. It's worth checking. <clears throat> Master D's nuts. You're damn right. Um, there should be a boss, ru boss rush too. Oh, that would be cool. There. That is the path we seek. I think most, honestly, I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I think most games should have a boss rush mode. After you finish the main story, let people try it. Like, it's only upside. Oh. What is this? It's a throne. You recognize your old seat, don't you? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Kratos. I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. Do you really think you understand this? This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't, you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision or yours? Mm. Okay. Does this mean you're done in there? No. No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? I mean, oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying. <laughs> yeah, point. exactly. He comes back, Don't anyways. Live, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them, Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Thank you. Truly. Thank you. I know, with, with all this... I think, like... This is a, another example of, of one of those cases where in the, the Santa Monica studio version of like Nordic mythology, everything comes off to me personally as just a little underwhelming in terms of set pieces and scale. And I think part of it is just in terms of gameplay, like there's just not much that they can, like the, the arenas are small, the levels are kind of, uh flat and relatively simple but it's like when i saw asgard for the first time in the base game it's like oh that's like the mythical legendary place like oh okay well it's just it's not as epic as i was expecting and maybe we've just been spoiled by like marvel and their depictions of all of this but same with like valhalla like we're in valhalla and it's just kind of underwhelming like really little 
looks at at tiny little places it's just not quite as epic as i would have thought maybe we'll get there and we'll see some really epic stuff but yeah individual little labors okay but i don't know if i'm the only one that feels that maybe i'm just greedy upgrades unlocked here are permanent okay so i can craft using master seals permanent increases to health rage whatever else okay so i crafted that the second one is 25 i'll craft that and i'll craft the third one because why not let's just level up the health okay now we're into these and it goes all the way up to nine and i need divine triumphs which i would guess i'm gonna be getting based on uh or for killing bosses and stuff and then there's like upgrades to individual stats as well cool okay and this is for each run and they also said i think you can tweak the difficulty yeah highest difficulty higher rewards so if i go up to show me courage it'll be plus 20 percent rewards okay so let's try this on a little bit higher difficulty we select our kind of loadout here i think we're gonna do hmm i think i'm gonna keep fury and for shield, I think I'm going to keep Dauntless. Okay, yeah. Let's try it. And it's probably... I don't think it's fully randomized. I think it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Which is... Let's see if it's the same, like, loadout of creatures. No, I don't think they were ice-based before. So it does seem like the, the enemy types can change slightly. Which I'm glad about. Keeps it a little fresh, even if the arenas are the same. How do you create us among the stable of PlayStation characters? I, um, I personally, I'll play in feelings are more stunned and moderate life chance. Okay. I personally really like Kratos and in terms of the latest games, they've done a really good job. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Recognize that. That's great. Um, in terms of what they've done with his character arc and everything in the, like God of War and then God of War Ragnarok, they they've done a great job. I don't really know where they go for the sequel oh, set presumably in like ancient Egypt or something. I don't know what they do there. I'm very excited to see, but like, where does his character go from here? Cause the whole premise of these games was like, okay, he's learning to be a father and then he's like learning to trust his son and then also to forgive himself and then in, in this uh expansion it seems like the theme of kratos learning to forgive himself is still a present theme and maybe that's just what they do again in the sequel i don't know but i'm trying to figure out what the big internal torment element is going to be for kratos in the next game you know because i don't think it's clear that there is one um, that stands out quite as forcefully as the obvious ones they used for this last game. Ooh. I would love to see a God of War game with, like, Last of Us 2 levels of gore. I think that would be crazy. Maybe we'll get that. It just seems like such a, a no-brainer, right? Hades Retribution. Which one is this? Um... Oh, right. He stabs him and makes him blow up. And then the flare is like a ranged version of that. I think we'll do this one. Kratos is a god killer, so he'll be used to kill gods by gods. Yeah, but like, how? what's the impetus for it? Like, so he goes to, to Egypt and like he meets with Osiris and something or somebody and he's like, the gods are growing restless. You must kill them. Oh, that's cool. The fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. Okay. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well. 
You sound thrilled to see them again. It's a straight up Olympus. Souls they deem righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? Interesting. Yeah, remember when I was like, oh, the, the scale and scope is always a little underwhelming. This is much better. I love this. This is great. Okay, I spoke too soon. This is great. I'm glad they lifted the fog, because if it was just the foggy areas, I would have been like, oh, that's kind of lame. But this is great. I love this. This is epic. Um, they even said this was the end of the arc for him. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're not planning on doing another arc. You know, like, what, what do they do for a sequel? What's the... Uh, the evolution of Kratos. Can you have a God of War game without Kratos? I don't think you can. I think you have to. And I think if they really wanted it to be the end of his story, they would have just killed him off. Because they set it up for that already. Oh, so can I warp to the next realm without fighting through these waves again? Is that what this is? I think it is. Chosen will unlock the ascending sands. This is locked until we meet Valhalla's demands. Defeat the chosen. Okay. I can do that. Probably. I'm hoping. <laughs> um no, can't open that. Can open that. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uncharted can be without Nathan Drake. Same with Horizon without Aloy. I mean, I think they're going to try um, eventually Uncharted, but I uh, like, like, I mean, a full Uncharted, like Uncharted 5 or something without him. Because they did the Lost Legacy, but as far as I could tell, most people agreed that there was just something missing in The Lost Legacy, and it was the charm that Nathan Drake had. I think they can eventually get it working if they have the right characters, but it's not going to be a layup. It's going to take a lot of work. Oh, I thought I parried that. I did not. Okay, you guys are overwhelming me. Block for those little doggy things earlier. Keep getting slapped. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 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 Um. Let's see. He's up. Thank you for the five great British pounds. I think his next arc is learning what it means to stand up for the people and what it means to be a good god of war, similar to Tyr. Yeah, maybe, like, he was running away from being a god of war for so long, and then at the end of this game, he kind of accepts it, but more for good. So maybe it's like he goes to Egypt and is overwhelmed by the evil of the gods and tries to, I guess, uh, maybe separate from the, the wheat from the chaff or something. I don't know. Oh, hey, Redberry. Good to see you, my friend. Hey, Luke. Hunter and I missed you at the Game Awards. Man, you got to come next year. Yeah, was it a good time? This is a good time. If anybody in chat is unclear, Redberry's a, a fantastic TikTok creator. And uh, Hunter is another one I met at the Avatar event. I actually, I mentioned Redberry on stream yesterday, actually, I, I think it was. So that's funny. Because uh, we were talking about the Game Awards and um, whatever his name is, Matal? Mat Mat no, it's not Matal. I think it's Matal. Matan. I think it's Matan. That guy that stormed the stage during Elden Ring's uh, acceptance speech. He was there and apparently got escorted out and uh, trespassed just like 10 minutes into the show or something. So um, I was actually like, I wonder if they saw that. Uh, did you see that, Redberry? Did you see him get escorted out? I don't know if you were sitting in the same area, but um, that'd be funny. 
Uh, Celestial Protection. That seems 75% resistance to all status effects. That seems like a no-brainer. But, yeah, I think next year I'd, I'd like to go. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I met Todd Howard in a bathroom and had the most awkward interaction. Oh, really? Starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose like, voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the? I've always said like. Oh, I should I should let him say this. Was you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps. Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on the terms. And by that you mean. Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. Yeah, baby. These parts being your memory. It was. It was him. That's funny. Um, yeah, if I ever ran into Todd Howard, like, in a bathroom, I think I would troll him a little bit. Like, if we're at the urinal together, I think I'd just... Nice. And then walk away. You gotta have a little fun. <laughs> you know, I see what you got going on, Todd. Good for you. Good for you, Todd. I don't know. It's gotta be so awkward when... Like, it's already awkward when you're like, oh, hey. Um, it's already awkward when you're, like, a, a creator and you can tell when somebody recognizes you. And so, for somebody like Todd, I'm sure it's incredibly awkward. Like, you know everyone there knows who you are. And especially with, like, how much he's been memed on and trolled. Oh, my God. I'm sure it's not that fun. Oh my god. Not like this. I just punch him to death, really? But yeah, maybe next year we go to the Game Awards. That'd be fun. Was it hard to get in? Did you have to wait a long time? Oh, I'm Todd. <laughs> Todd, you're Tinkler, 16 times leg. Oh, God. Oh, God. That would be a good way to get banned forever. <laughs> oh, man. At least the kid did not interrupt Miyazaki's Game of the Year speech. Yeah. Well, I mean, after that, Jeff, I think, was so pissed. And then it happened again at the at um, game or uh, Gamescom, wasn't it? They had somebody storm the stage again, trying to be... I forget it was somebody trying to be funny or if it was like an activist or something, but somebody else stormed the stage. That's how successful that attempt was. It was that forgettable. Uh, but somebody else stormed the stage. And so at the Game Awards, they had like the full barrier ropes up along the stage. And then they had security at every entrance. So they were not messing around. They were like, we are not having somebody storm the stage again. We're not doing that. Which, good for them. I mean, the fact that it was so easy for them to have the storm or the stage stormed was already crazy. Like, you'd think that they would have had that locked down beforehand, but I guess you, you don't learn the lesson until it happens. And you're like, oh, yeah, we probably should have thought of that beforehand. <laughs> probably should have thought of that. Oops. Oops. It was mine. Didn't see the kid, but there was 10x the security. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. What is the DLC about? Didn't look too much into it. Well, didn't look into it at all. Um, it's basically just a... I mean, it's a roguelike game uh, mode that has you going through Valhalla, but it's like constructs of areas you've already been. So they're vaguely familiar, but they're not identical to areas you've already been to. And so um, as you go through the different areas you gain abilities just like your standard roguelike and um hopefully grow stronger and stronger and once you die you reset lose your progress and try again with some permanent effects gained so um it's an interesting concept it's one that's been done you know plenty before but it's a game mode i don't think any of us were really expecting oh double tap the blue that's right That's right. Double tap the blue. Right 
There you are. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, a health gem. Love that. <laughs> it is just very satisfying. Voila. Valhalla. Oh man, if Blade comes out good with Arcane's magic, would you rather play Blade stealthy or loud? Uh, I mean it's a third person like action game. I mean, I think I'd probably end up trying it stealthy and then failing and just end up going in loud most of the time. That's uh, that's my expectation. Okay, so stagger and flick stun uh, nearby when damage is taken. Ooh. Holding L for several seconds will trigger a high stun explosion on the next successful block or pair. Okay, that's cool. Fortification, you just have to prep it. Okay. You saw Insomniac get hacked. Was that confirmed? Oh, this was a mistake. Yep. Oh my god. I timed that very poorly. But yeah, I, I saw that the hackers were claiming they did, but I don't know if it was confirmed. Oh, I hate those nightmares. They're a nightmare. Oh my God. Just come here. Come here. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. I hate those nightmares so much. Oh god. Oh no. Am I dead? Almost. Oh, as I'm charging in. Are we dead? We're dead. As I'm charging in. Oh. Return to the shore. Okay, how much stuff do I lose? I think I gain... Do I... Like, my question is, do I lose the currency as well? Let's see how much we still have. And they say you can't buy self-improvement. Uh, no, I think... So we kept some. We kept some. Okay. We didn't have much, but we kept some. Fence or strength. Uh, it's pretty big improvement either way. I think we'll go strength for higher damage. Um, so, I mean, so far, I mean, it, it's pretty robust. I, I was kind of braced for it to be a quick little lazy, yeah, here you fight five waves of enemies and then you're at the end. Congratulations. But it's free, so you can't really worry that much. Can't complain too much, you know? But they've actually put a lot of thought into it. I could easily see somebody spending 10, 20 hours messing around with this, especially on the higher difficulties. I think you could crank it and go crazy, dude. Manfish Meldrum, I'm telling you right now, if they make the next God of War game Egyptian themed, I will lose my crap. Like that would be a day when that game is announced that I'm actually like shaking with excitement. I, I love ancient Egypt. It's always been an obsession of mine. And if they actually go there, I'm going to lose it. It's going to be amazing. Fingers crossed. I'm worried, though, that because everybody's kind of expecting that, that they're not going to do it. They're going to go to, like, I know some people were saying maybe they go Aztec. Maybe they go to, like, China or something. And all of that would be good. I'm sure those games would still be really, really good. And the setting would be really interesting. 
But I'm like, just because everybody's expecting Egypt doesn't mean that you should avoid it. If anything, I'm like, maybe just do that. Maybe do it. Even just one game. I don't need a trilogy. Just one awesome game and I'll be happy. Just a little something, you know? Oh yeah, <laughs> said it against, uh, you go to like Israel or Jerusalem in 33 AD and you have a final boss fight against Jesus. That would turn out really, really well, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure everybody would love that. He took my thing.